Hey, what's good everybody? It's your boy King Killer back here today with another video. Thank you guys for dropping by. So in today's video, we are going to be rebuilding the Los Angeles Clippers now. Taking a look at the record for this team, it is a nasty 22 and 21 on the year and they are sitting 6 in the conference. So the Clippers are definitely a team that needs some help, especially because over their last 10 games, they've gone 3 and 7. So not really what you'd expect from a team that a lot of people consider title contenders at the start of the year. And taking a look at the roster that they have, I definitely think they could still compete for a title. They just need to make a trade or two. Especially one of the biggest thing that the Clippers need is having a backup big because right now it's pretty much just Zubak as the only center that they got on this team and maybe train away other contracts like Nicholas Batum or Robert Covington and try to get maybe draft capital or maybe somebody that could actually help them win right now. And taking a look at the rest of the team, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George definitely I would like to have on this team and win a championship with, but I would like to do it sooner rather than later just because for whatever reason in 2k after year one they just tend to regress so bad like you would expect them to be like 36 37 or something like that nah like they only 31 and 32 so i don't know why they regress so much after year number one so definitely have to keep that in mind uh moving on to john wall is somebody i think i would like to have on the team maybe not as our starting point guard maybe he could be a bench point guard but i would definitely like to keep him on the team norman powell is somebody that i think i might look to trade just because I have somebody in mind that actually would be a perfect fit for the Clippers and I think I'm going to have to use Norman Powell to try to get that player so we will see what happens. Zubox is, I think somebody in real life is a good starting center but I think in 2k I don't really think he is a good starting center. I think he's more a, he's more good as a backup center just because he doesn't really progress well in 2k so he might look, he might be a bench piece moving forward. Marcus Morris somebody again that's going to probably regress hard after year number one because he is 33 years old but for season number one i think i will be rocking with him terrence mann is somebody that i think will probably get traded and you know maybe try to get some more draft capital or maybe try to get a player that will help us win now reggie jackson same thing i might look to trade him luke Kennard, i think will stay on the team just because he is a pretty good shooter and he is really efficient as you guys see right here and then nicholas batum and robert covington i would like to try to trade both of these guys and see if i could get anything good for either one of these guys and then moses brown coffee boston and jason probably won't play or get traded so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna start making some well-needed trades that the clippers need to do so i will see you guys when i come up with the with the trades all right, so the first trade that I'm going to be making is sending Norman Powell and a first round pick to the Indiana Pacers for Buddy Hill. Do they accept this? They do not. So what if I go ahead and I give you guys another second round pick and boom, just like that, he is on the team. All right, and for the next trade that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be sending Terrence Mann, Nicholas Batum, and three second round picks to the Atlanta Hawks for Clint Capella and Jalen Johnson. All right, and the next trade that I'm going to be doing is sending Robert Covington to Memphis for Danny Green and a second round pick. All right, and the last trade I'm going to be making is sending Reggie Jackson, Amir Coffey, and a first-round pick for RJ Hampton and Terrence Ross. All right, so for the rest of season number one, this is what the lineup's going to be looking like. We got John Wall, Paul George, Kawhi, Morris, and Capella. Off the bench, we got Buddy Heald, Zubox, Hampton, and Luke Kennard. And taking a look at the system proficiency for this team, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at balance. Or actually, I might switch it up to seven seconds. And then taking a look at the shot tendencies for the team, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lower Paul George down to about 895. John Wall could definitely go down a lot. I don't know why he's so high up. Kawhi could definitely go up a little bit. Marcus Morris could stay right there. Buddy Hill could go up to about an 80 since he is gonna be our six man. Boston isn't playing, Ross isn't playing, neither is he, neither is he. Hampton could definitely go up a little bit to about a 70. Uh, Zoo Box could go up to about a 60. And then Luke Kennard could go up to about a 70 as well. And then Clint Capella could go up to about a 64. So for the rest of the year, I am hoping we do good and we could stay above 500. So I'm hoping that we could finish at least as the fifth, a fifth seed or better. As long as I don't have to do the play-in tournament, I am going to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate season number one and I will catch you guys at the end. All right, so in round number one, we will be facing the Dallas Mavericks. And taking a look at the roster, they ended up adding Nicholas Batum. So a little bit of a revenge series for him as he was on the Clippers to start the year. And that's pretty much everybody that they added. So nothing really new, but I do like our chances going against the Mavericks. But then again, it is the Mavericks and they always do put up crazy numbers because they have Luka. So simulating round number one, we are up and boom, just like that, we move on to the second round as we win in five. Taking a look at the series stats, you see right here, game number one, we blew them out. Paul George with 43 points, John Wall with 28 and 13. 
Game number two, Paul George with 25, Kawhi with 23 as we win. Game number three, we ended up losing in overtime by one point as Luka dropped a 60-point double-double. I told you guys he puts up crazy numbers in this game. Paul George with 29 and John Wall with 27 in the loss. Game number four, Paul George with 37, almost had a triple-double. Kawhi Leonard with 23. And then game number five, we ended up winning and Paul George, oh no, Kawhi Leonard leading the way with 27 and Paul George with 19. So now we are facing the Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Lakers. It is Battle of LA and taking a look at who they have on their team. Did they add anybody new? I don't really think so. They added Kavon Looney and that's pretty much about it. So I do like our chances going up against this team. Uh, hopefully I don't jinx myself and boom, just like that, we end up winning in five. Taking a look at the series stats for this series. And game number one, we ended up winning by four points. Buddy Heal dropping 35 points off the bench. Clint Capella with 18. Game number two, we ended up winning as well. Kawhi with 34 and Paul George with 23. Game number three, we ended up winning again. Kawhi putting up 26, Paul George with 24. And then game number four, we ended up losing. Paul George with 23 and Capella with 18 and 10. And then game number five, we ended up winning by 10 points, sending them home. Paul George with 26 and Buddy Hield with 22 off the bench. Now we are facing the Denver Nuggets. Did they add anybody new? And surprisingly, no. They pretty much kept the same exact team. All these, all these teams pretty much kept everybody on the team. I don't think they really made any big moves. And they are the second seed, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. But I do like our chances going in. So we will be simulating the round once again. And boom, just like that, we are in the NBA Finals. Paul George is your Western Conference Finals MVP. 27 a night, 3.5 boards, 6.5 assists, 2.5 steals, shooting lights out. We win in five. Taking a look at the series stats. Joke. Uh, no, we are looking at Paul George with 30 points. Kawhi with 23 in game one as we end up winning. Game number two, we end up winning by two points. Kawhi with 33 and Paul George with 25. Game number three, we ended up losing to the uh, to the Denver Nuggets. Paul George with 34 and Kawhi with 19. Game number four, we ended up uh, winning by one point. Paul George with 25 and Kawhi with 16 and 10. And then game number five, we ended up winning. Paul George with 22 and Kawhi with 21. So we are in the NBA Finals taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Definitely a good series to watch if this happened in real life. Ben Simmons, Kyrie, TJ Warren, Kevin Durant, Nicholas Claxton. And did they add anybody else on the bench? No, not really. So surprisingly, nobody really made any trades, like any big trades this year. So I do like our chances going up against them. But then again, Kyrie and KD are a scary duo. So we will go ahead and simulate game by game. So game number one, we end up winning by a blowout. Game number two, we end up winning by three points. Are we going to really win this in year one? I probably shouldn't have said that because I'm going to jinx myself. Game number three, we end up winning. And just like that, I'm going to go ahead and do the last one with SimCast. We are in LA. So let's see if we could give the Clippers fans something they have hoped for for years. And I think just like that, we might end up winning it. We are up by five with a minute 40 to go. We are up by four with 110. And just like that, in year number one, we end up winning the championship. Paul George as your finals MVP, 27 points, 5.5 rebounds, five assists, three steals a night shooting 50 and 40 over the field goal percentage and three point percentage and just like that we end up sweeping the brooklyn nets taking a look at the box score for the series paul george in game one 32 points Kawhi with 24 game number two paul george with 35 clint capella with 19 and 15 game number three uh Kawhi leonard with 36 10 and 7 and paul george with 18 4 8 and 6 Game number four to close it out, Paul George with 24 points and Clint Capella with 20 points. Honestly, this was a little bit easier than I thought. I think we do have a good roster. We definitely have a good roster. I just kind of think that since we did start off the year bad, that's why we didn't get the 50 win season. But I think as a full season with this team, I definitely think we could hit maybe 55 or more wins. So I'm going to go ahead because I did win it all in year one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run one more series. So I'm gonna pretty much gonna run it back with the same exact team and I will catch you guys at the start of season number two. All right, so for season number two, this is what the lineup's gonna be looking like. We got John Wall, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Georges Niang, and Clay Capella. Off the bench, we got Buddy Heald, Zubox, Hampton, and Luke Kennard. 
And I'm so glad that we won in year one because Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, like I said, did regress by like three or four overalls. And I went ahead and I signed Georges Niang in free agency just because uh, Marcus Morris did go down like three or four overalls as well. So I'm so glad that we won in year one because I don't know if we would have been able to do it with this team in year two. And taking a look at system proficiency for this team, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be defense, even though Georges Niang does not fit it at all. And taking a look at the shot tendencies, I think I'm only going to adjust a little bit. So he could go up, he could go up, he could go up, he could go up a little bit. John Wall could go up a little bit as well. Yang could definitely go up to about a 60 and then Luke Kennard could go up to a 70 and RJ Hampton could go up to a 70 as well. And yeah, so let's see how we do in season number two with a full lineup. I'm expecting a big season, like I said, either 55 wins or more. And I'm assuming we will finish as the number one seed in the West. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate and I will catch you guys at the end of season number two. All right. So at the end of season number two, Luka winning MVP, Victor winning rookie of the year, Brandon Miller as six man defensive player is Evan Mobley and he is most improved player. And then Doc Rivers is coach of the year. And take a look at the all NBA teams. Did we get anybody this time? We surprisingly did not. What about all defensive team? And surprisingly, we didn't get anybody on those teams. And taking a look at where we finished on the year, we ended up going 51 and 31. So we are good for the first seed in the West. So it wasn't quite the 55 wins, but at least we did get the one seed. And taking a look at the season stats, we have Paul George leaned away with 21 points, five boards, and five assists with almost two steals a night. Kawhi Leonard, 17 points, six rebounds, four assists, and almost two steals. I don't know how these guys weren't in all defensive team, but taking a look at Buddy Heald, 15 points off the bench. Was he still pretty efficient? Oh yeah, he was definitely efficient. So I think this is definitely a move that the Clippers need to make. They gotta get Buddy Heald, especially since he wants out of Indiana. I think this would be a perfect pickup for the Clippers. Clint Capella with about 14 points and 13 boards. John Wall with about 12 points and eight assists. Uh, Niang with about 10 points. Was he efficient shooting? Yeah, so he was pretty efficient shooting 39% from deep. Zubox with about 10 and eight and a half off the bench. Luke Kennard with about nine and a half. And he was once again, really efficient shooting the ball. And then RJ Hampton with about nine points. And I'm pretty sure that's everybody that played for us. So yeah, so we are here in season number two. Can we go back to back as we are taking on the Los Angeles Lakers and they added Chris Middleton to their team. And I think that's about it. They added Jarvis Walker, uh, Burt. I don't even know how you say his name, but uh, not really anybody too noteworthy. And we are going to go ahead and be simulating round number one. So I think this will be an easy win. And just like that, we end up advancing to the second round of the playoffs. Taking a look at the stats for the series, we ended up having Paul George leading the way with 21 and Zubash with 19. Game number two, we ended up having George with 30 and Wall with 17. In game number three, we ended up losing, but we had Kawhi with 22 and Hield with 19. In game number four, we ended up winning by six points. Kawhi and Leonard, uh, Kawhi and Capella leading the way with both 16 apiece. This was such a low scoring game for a lot of our players, but at least everybody scored. And then game number five, we ended up winning 30 points for Georges Niang the unsung hero in this series in game number five he ended up scoring 30 points Kawhi with 29 and taking a look at who we are facing we are facing the dallas mavericks in round number two so another another team that we ended up facing in year one they added josh hart they added thaddeus young uh kelly olenic to the team so they do have a pretty good squad but i do like our chances of winning and just like that we are going to the western conference finals once again so taking a look at the series real quick Kawhi Leonard dropping 41 points in game one. Paul George with 31 and 10. In game number two, we ended up losing, but Paul George with 24 and Buddy Hill with 19. In game number three, we ended up losing as well by 20 points. Damn, we got blown out. John Wall with 19 and Kawhi with 19. Game number four, we ended up blowing them out. Buddy Hill with 21 and John Wall with 18. In game number five, we ended up winning. Luka had a 51 point triple double but we still won Kawhi with 27 and paul george with 23 and then game number six we ended up blowing them out and paul george led the way with 30 points and click capella with 27 so facing the oklahoma city thunder in round three did they add anybody new not really they added mo bamba they added nazir little Derek jones jr so not really anybody worth noting and we're gonna go ahead and simulate round number three do we end up in the finals once again and no, we end up losing in seven. Oh, we were so close to going back to back or going back to the finals. We ended up losing. Damn, they blew us out. Shy had a 40 point triple double. Damn, okay, that'll probably do it. <laughs> 
Paul George with 27 and Kawhi with 20. Taking a look at game number one, you see right here, Paul George, Buddy Hill, 22. Game number two, Buddy Hill with 18, Paul George with 17. Game number three, we had Kawhi with 24, Paul George with 22. Game number four, Buddy Hill with 34 off the bench and Paul George with 19. Game number five, we had Paul George leading the way with 25 and Capella with 23. And then game number six, we had Paul George with 25 and Kawhi with 16. And then I already guys, I already showed you guys game number seven. So that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. And pretty much, I think Clippers need two things. They need another knockdown shooter that's a veteran. So I think Buddy Hield would definitely be a perfect fit for them. And they also need a backup big because they do not have any good backup bigs. All the, the only bigs that they really have are power forwards, and I don't really think that's gonna be a problem for other centers when they're in the paint because that's not really somebody that's gonna try to defend them good. So they definitely need to go ahead and get a backup center. But anyways, guys, that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link will be down below. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.